So Shane, a quick question for you. Uh, if there is a legitimate negative review or, or one star review for your product, uh, should Amazon sellers be replying to those? Uh, to you know, I, I've seen, for instance, where uh, maybe it was an old version, and now you're selling the version 2.0 of this, and you fixed a previous issue. Uh, should you go back maybe to some of these uh, older ones that left a one star review and say, "Hey, we have a new 2.0 version of XYZ that's you know addressed that issue"? Is that something they should be doing? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is we all iterate, right? I mean, there, there's times we have to improve products and things that are going on there. So. What we would recommend is, you know, what we're looking for, once again, is people that are in violation of Amazon's terms of service. If it is a legit review and it was an old product, uh, it's not, there's not always an opportunity for us to be able to, to remove that, right? I mean, it really needs to be in, in violation of Amazon's terms of service. Now, we, once again, because of the data that we have, we do look at all the angles, you know, just because they wrote a review doesn't mean it's a legit review. And if there's ways to figure out that, once again, it's a sock puppet account, or it's a fake account. We're obviously looking at all angles, right? Our goal is to remove that review. Now, I have had clients and, or potential clients that we've talked to, if you just have a bad product, you know, we had a, a, a company, a bigger company, I won't say what the name is, but that came to us and said, hey, we're, we really want to, you know, get rid of these reviews. And we looked at them and a lot of the reviews were exactly the same, pictures of the products, they seem legit reviews. And I said, well, you know, is there a problem with this? You know, is there a problem with this product? And they said, yeah, we've had a lot of problems um, and it was toxic. And they go, and I go, well, then I'm not going to remove the reviews because then it's toxic. Like it doesn't right. Like you're, you're in clear violation. Like you shouldn't have the product and they go, well, the new product is, isn't going to be toxic, but we really need to get rid of this inventory. And I said, well, that's not going to work for me. Like I'm not using this to, to just fool people and to go in and take down reviews that are legit. So in that situation, obviously I was like, you know, uh, you're not a client that we can work together with. I'll just be honest because I, I don't, I, I, there's ethics behind this as well, right? Like if you got a bad product and it potentially can harm the public. I, I, I can't, I'm not going to help you clean that up because you obviously have a problem there and, and you got to break it off and do something different than what you're currently doing. But I, I, from an ethical standpoint, you know, it needs to once again be in violation of Amazon's terms of service. If there's, if it's just a bad product, then guess what? It's a bad product, but there's not much we can do there.